All right, before we get started, if you got a story you want to let me know about, might make a video on it. Send me a message via Instagram. Uh, right there is my Instagram name. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy Alberto's story. If you do, leave it a thumbs up uh, for him. This is the story of Alberto's $2,000 Spec V. So before we even get to talk about Alberto's $2,000 Spec V, we need to backtrack many, many years. All the way up into before he was even born. Alberto was born in 2006. In 2003, Alberto's father had purchased brand new 2004 Sentra SCR Spec V off the lot. So in 2005, Alberto's mom was pregnant. Unfortunately, before Alberto was born, his dad was in a car accident, which rendered the Spec V totaled. After this Spec V, uh, he did get a bunch of other cars, and he's had cars ever since that he's had. And growing up, Alberto would be hearing stories from his dad about the Sentra and also other cars too, and about racing and things like that and things he did in his younger years. Now, Alberto and his dad really had a close relationship with each other. They had a really tight bond. So seeing these pictures and hearing these stories about these cars, he was raised around cars his entire life. And so naturally, when he became 16, he wanted to get his own project car. So he ended up choosing to go with a 2006 B15 Sentra, the same type of car that his dad owned right before he was born. They went online searching for cars and they found one basically sitting in the guy's backyard, pretty much in like a shed or a barn. The guy wanted almost $4,000 for it. The car was in really, really rough shape. The car had oil leaks, exhaust leak, bad motor mounts. They ended up having to change the clutch out on it. The exterior was really, really dirty. They were able to get the price worked down to $2,000. So they agreed on the price and they got the car home. One of the first things they do is they start fixing the issues. They start getting the car in good working, running order. Bringing the car amazingly back to original condition. Now Alberto takes a lot of pride in his car and I honestly believe his father is proud of him. His father definitely raised him well and is a positive influence that I know some people wish they had. Now at this point, it's not the end of the story. This is just the beginning. 